As Deep Steel now complies with the latest Canadian steel code, CSA S16-19. But what exactly has changed in the program? How do you invoke this new code? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to present an overview of this new feature in As Deep Steel with the implementation of this new Canadian steel code. Let's get started. As Deep Steel includes several modules, base plates, steel columns, steel and composite beams, shear connections, and moment connections. In this presentation, we're going to use the SI unit, which is the unit system used in Canada. So let's go to settings, units, then SI units. That means that all the calculations created from now on will be in SI units. Let's create a calculation for a steel column. Let's call it example. The calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on this node. And this is the template in ASDIP Steel for the calculation of steel columns. If we go to the uh, design criteria, we can see here the different codes available in the package. In addition to AISC 360 version 10 or 16, we have now added this new option, CSA S16-19. This is the Canadian code. Also in the load combinations, in addition to AS7, 05 or 1016, we have now added CSA S16-19, the Canadian uh, load combinations, in addition to uh, user-defined load combinations as well. For now, let's leave the AISC 360-16 and AS7-1016. Okay. If we go to the detail tab in this example, scroll down, we can see here that all the calculations are according to AISC. Design for compression, design for flexure, also design for combined forces. Now, if we go back to the design criteria and change the code to CSA S1619, also we change the load combinations click OK, scroll down again in the detail tab. Now all the calculations comply with uh, the Canadian code, CSA S1619, for flexure and combined forces. We go to the Condense tab, all this complies with the CSA as well. At a glance, with a summary of the results, we go to the Graph tab, we can see here the interaction diagram for the steel column. In the input side, we can go to the stability. Here we can specify if the loads come from a second order analysis or from a first order analysis and need to be amplified. If this is the case, show parameters, and this will show the table with the corresponding factors. We go to the loads tab. Here we can specify if the loads are pre-combined or coming from another software or if the loads are a set of load cases and need to be combined internally in ASD, the design method, ASD, or LRFT. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's create a calculation for a steel and composite beam. Let's call it example. And then the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on this node. And this is the template for a steel and composite beam in ASD steel. Likewise, if we go to the uh, design criteria, code, the default now is AISC 360.16 and AC7.16. With these default settings, let's go to the detail tab, scroll down, and all the calculations comply with the uh, AISC. Expose formulas and references to the AISC code. If we go now and change the code, go to the design criteria again, go to codes, then select CSA S1619, also let's specify the same load combination for CSA, click OK, then go back to the detail tab, scroll down, now all the calculations comply with CSA S16. Expose formulas and references to the Canadian steel code. Go to the condensed tab, with a more condensed result, grouped by topic, but all complying with the Canadian code. And at a glance, a summary of the results. 
go to the graph tab. This is a shear and moment diagrams for the beam. In the input area, we can specify different number of supports. And then here we specify the steel section for the steel database, also in metric units. In a slab deck, if the beam is a composite beam, then this checkbox is checked. And then the concrete slab needs to be specified to complete the design. In the loads, similar to the previous module, can be done in ASD or LRFD and includes different type of loads, uniform, variable, concentrated, and moments. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's create a calculation for a shear connection. Let's call it example. Double click on this new node. And this is a template for a shear connection calculation in ASDIP steel. There are different type of shear connections, single angle, double angle, single plate, or T. Also, there are different type of connections, connection to the column flange, connection to the column web, or connection to the beam web. Here, also, we can specify from the database the column and the beam that will be connected. And if we go again to the design criteria, then design codes, the default is AISC 360.16 and ASCII 7.16. Let's keep these settings for now. Let's go to the detail tab. Scroll down. Here are all the connection strength, all the different limit states complying with the AISC code. Exposed formulas and references. But now, if we go back to the design criteria, design codes, if we change this to CSA S1619 for steel design and also for load combinations, click OK, and then Scroll down in the detail tab again. And all this calculation now complies with the Canadian code CSA. All the limit states, exposed formulas, and reference to the Canadian code. If we go to the condensed tab, some more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic. You see the connection strength with all the limit states. This is the controlling limit state, and this is the controlling load combination. We go to the graph tab. We can see here images in front view, side view, and top view of the connection for the different cases. In this case, it's connected to the column flange, but could be connected also to the column web or to the beam web, and uh, the images update accordingly. As you can see, it's very easy to design now steel members complying with the CSA S16-19 Steel Canadian code. You just need to change the code in the design criteria and then the calculations will change accordingly. If you like the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.